faith and confidence, let us pray to the Lord. Bless the Church with the assurance of faith and empower her people to show their faith in their words and in their lives. Cast out all doubts and fear from those who have not seen but have believed. We pray for the Church worldwide, for the people of the Anglican Church of Tanzania, under the leadership of Archbishop Maimbo Ndola, and for the people of the Diocese of Lincoln in the Church of Sweden, under the leadership of Bishop Martin Mondeir, and for our Archbishops Justin and Stephen. In our own diocese we pray for Bishop Sarah, Bishop Rob, and in our own parish Miriam, Andrew and Julie, and for all being ordained in our diocese this Peter time. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, may the light of truth shine in a world where so many live with doubt. Lead the rulers of the nations to knowledge of their true and only Lord. As we continue to remember the people of Ukraine, let us also pray for all places where their people struggle for freedom from terror, poverty, hunger and oppression, and for all refugees and the aid agencies that work to help them. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. we ask for vision and that you will lead us in the way you want us to go. Help us to serve humbly and to see you in the places that may not always be visible. Equip us to go out into the world sharing the good news. We thank you for the buildings with which you have entrusted us and we ask that every person who walks through the doors for whatever reason will feel your presence with them. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. breathe health, wholeness and hope into the hearts of all who are unwell. Grant refreshment to their spirits. Restore them to full fellowship with all who love them. Bless everyone who cares for them, especially those whose research and skill bring new hope to those afflicted by suffering. We pray for those who ask for our prayers, particularly for John, Peter, Eileen, Lucy, Eric, Pauline, Sylvia, Wynne, George, Francesca, Matt, Dave and Marina. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Look with mercy on those who have walked with Christ in this life and have now passed through death, particularly for Alan Chadwick recently departed. We pray for those saddened by the death of a family member, loved one or friend, either recently or whose anniversary falls at this time of year. Help them to draw comfort from your love, the Holy Spirit and the fellowship of the church family. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for ourselves as we go from your house today to start the week ahead. We ask that in all we do, we may walk more closely with you at our side, safe in the knowledge that your love and care knows no bound. Merciful Father, accept this prayer for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
The second lesson is a reading from the first letter of Peter, beginning at the third verse. Blessing be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and to an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while you may have to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, which though perishable is tested by fire, may redound to praise and glory and honour at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Without having seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with an unutterable and exalted joy. At the outcome of your faith, you obtain the salvation of your souls. The prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired about this salvation. They inquired what person or time was indicated by the Spirit of Christ within them when predicting the suffering of Christ and the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves but you in the things which have now been announced to you by those who preach the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Here ends the second lesson. 